an evening in the local park with her children. But from Monday, Kenza Dride could be arrested during this simple pleasure. She will contravene a new law forbidding French citizens from covering their faces in public places. Its target is Muslim women. I think that this is an Islamophobic law. Muslims are being targeted. First it was about the veil, and now it is about the full veil, which is only worn by less than 200 Muslim women in France. This law is clearly against my freedom of movement, of conscience and of religion. As the extreme right gains increasing popularity in France, President Sarkozy has been accused of trying to win back votes for next year's presidential election by deliberately stigmatizing Muslims. The government vehemently denies this, claiming the full veil is a symbol of male oppression. We feel that it is contrary to equality of sexes, dignity of a person, and it's creating a ghetto, you know, because those ladies refuse that we see her face, and this is unbearable in the tradition. Women wearing the niqab in the street, on public transport, in a library or cinema, will all face a fine of more than $200 and a citizenship class to remind them of France's secular values. But police will be forbidden to take off a woman's veil, lock up a veiled woman once arrested, or detain her for longer than four hours in a police station. In a Paris suburb, a civil rights group hands out symbolic green stars, part of a campaign against the so-called burqa ban. Concretely, we are doing an awareness campaign in places where many Muslims are living. We want to tell them that they have to step into the French political arena and to stand up for their rights. Kenza is one of perhaps only a few hundred niqab wearers out of France's five million Muslim population. She says she wears the veil from her own personal choice and she's ready to take her case to the International Court to defend her fundamental rights and freedoms. Tim Friend, Al Jazeera, Paris.